Hi there, I'm Robert Reed. A big photo shoot is a lot of fun, or it can be, but reviewing and processing images, that can be a chore. Having a few strategic shortcuts can actually make a big difference and speed things up when you're processing a big pile of images. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can streamline your workflow using the keyboard shortcuts and how you can edit them in Capture One's new keyboard shortcut editor. So I said the keyboard editor was actually new, the, the shortcut editor, but it actually came out, I believe, in Capture One 12, which is one version before 20. You can find that in the edit menu, um, and it's called Edit Keyboard Shortcuts. As you can see in the shortcut uh, in this tool, the uh, there's a drop down items here, which really are based on the menus up to the help menu. And then past the help menu, there are a few other sections that add features which are basically uh, shortcuts that you can apply to different actions you happen in tools. The first keyboard shortcut I typically add though is a shortcut to open this window. So if you go here, uh, we get a pop-up saying that you cannot edit the shortcuts yet because you have to create a new custom set. So to do that, and I'm gonna close this and show you how to do it before you get the error message. So this is the list of shortcut menus. The default is the one we're currently using, and that comes with Capture One, so you can't edit that one. But you can create a new one, hit the plus, and type my shortcuts, because, and now we can click on the Edit Keyboard Shortcut option, and I'm gonna try Command Y, because I, I know that's not already used, at least on the Mac shortcuts. So close this window, and we can look at the Edit menu. There's Command Y, well, let's try it out. Hit Command Y, and there we go. So before we add any more shortcuts, let's re review the other parts of this tool because there's a bit more here that are actually quite useful. The main one being the search field. So we can search for, for example, keyboard, and we can see the one we just set, and you can search for any of the commands, basically the command names at, or the names of the tools. For example, Kelvin. You can also, uh, this dropdown, change it to key, and now you can search for a key, for example, a command Y, and we bring up the edit shortcuts. So the help button takes you to the Capture 120 user guide and the keyboard shortcut help is actually over here. There's a bunch of articles on shortcut sets and editing shortcuts and so on. And finally, the summarize button actually brings you up a list of all of the currently set keyboard shortcuts and, and conveniently the name of the shortcut set is up there. Uh, and you can print this out, maybe cut off a section that you're particularly interested in, tape that next to your monitor so you can try to remember those shortcuts. But if you're just looking for a shortcut, it's probably easier just to open up the tool and use the search window to, to search by command. So right now, I want to make some keyboard shortcuts that, that helps with reviewing images. And I always use color tags when I'm reviewing images. I typically use red for junk and then green for keepers, uh, at least for the first pass. So the color settings are in the adjustments menu and here's color tag. So the, by default, we have color uh, shortcuts for red, yellow, and green. Now, the problem is that some of these shortcuts require using a shift key on a US keyboard on a laptop. The uh, star and the plus sign are on a number pad if you have a full keyboard, but on a laptop, we don't have those keys and you have to use a shift key to get to both of these, which is kind of annoying and you don't wanna have to use shift keys when you're trying to move as quickly as possible through a big pile of images. So what I usually do for green is, since it's right next to the minus sign for red, and I use red and green together, I set green to be just the equal key. And then the other two colors that I use the most are yellow and blue. So to avoid having to use a shift key and also to keep them relatively close to the plus and minus. So for blue, I use the apostrophe and yellow, the semicolon. And finally, the last one I set is none. I'm gonna use a backslash for that. And that means that I can basically keep my hand close to the red, green, and none flag. And I use those typically when I'm processing images. And I'll show you how that goes in a moment. Now, another thing that we can set shortcuts for are filters. So we can toggle specific color filters using shortcuts. Based on the keys that we use for setting the color tags, I'm gonna just use a shift on those keys to toggle the filter. So that means shift equal sign, which is a plus, is going to turn on the green color filter. So it'll hide all images except for ones that are green. If you push shift backslash, then that's going to also show all the images that don't have any color tag. So hiding all the reds, basically. So to set those, uh, we're gonna go over to filters, color tag filters, and, and now we're just gonna set these up based on what we saw, so shift. Now there's a duplicate, there's the shift, 
minus is already being used, you know, subtract 50 for, for Kelvin. I'm fine with removing that old shortcut and using the new one, because this for me is going to be far more useful. There, so I've set all of the shortcuts for the filters and the shortcuts for setting the color tags. So let me demonstrate how I use those keyboard shortcuts to go through a bunch of images. So whenever I am going to be doing a lot of images, I usually enable the select next when feature for color tag images. It's in the select menu, next when and so on. Of course, you can set a keyboard shortcut for this as well. But I actually don't use this very frequently. It's only when I'm reviewing a really large pile of images. So when that option is set, whenever a color rating is applied to an image, capture one automatically goes to the next image. So which means while I'm reviewing these images, all I need to worry about are the three keys that I've set for the tags I'm using the plus for green, the minus for red, and then if I'm not sure either way, I could just use the backslash, which is no color and, and it just basically skips that image and moves on to the next one. And so on. Again, the filters, I can uh, show the green, I can switch it over to the red. Or we can just show green and untagged or no by using those keys. So for me, that really speeds up reviewing a pile of images, I don't have to keep reaching for the mouse or the arrow keys, I don't even have to look at the keyboard because I know my fingers are already on those three keys that I care about. And I just have to look at the image and then decide which way to go with it and then move on to the next one. So that's how I use those shortcuts to review images. But the main idea here is just to show you another area that you can customize Capture One to make your life easier. Okay, okay, maybe not your life easier, but make your job easier, or at least something easier. You get the idea. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Robert Reed.